my floss tube. This is Barb. And this is Leanne. And, and we're, we're lost, lost in floss. floss. <laughs> well, this is uh, floss tube number 12B, special, special edition. Really special. Yeah. <laughs> um, thanks to Barb's Finish It February sale, we are here to show off what we finished for February. Yeah. 28 days of stitching, stitching what we had with no starts. So this episode will be all our FOs and FFOs right. um, that were accomplished in February. So 28 short days minus a few hours before it. Yeah, <laughs> we today, lose is it, but today is the 28th. But so. still, um, I'll do this again. Oh, I'll definitely do this um, again. The only thing I was telling Leanne is I was um, starting a few things on January 31st, like in the evening, just so I could stitch on them in yeah. February. And really, that was kind of probably not smart <laughs> and almost cheating a little bit for That's what cheating. I was trying to achieve. But I even the things that um, aren't fully finished are so much further along that now they will become finishes and it just i i'm so excited because like i don't want to have 300 whips i don't <laughs> I, I just don't i, don't I just feel too anxious when i have that many because i i'm stitching because i like them mm -hmm. and i want them and to have that many unfinished I don't know. I just, I love the sense of accomplishment of finishing something, mm -hmm. but yet I do like having something immediately that I can go pick up and, right. and I, stitch. I like having variety um, much better than just stitching on one thing. I mean, if it's one thing if you are excited about the one thing and want to just keep going and, you know, then, then it's like a pleasure to keep on it. But sometimes I just need... Like, I, I've realized I need some small things to mix in with my, you know, they aren't full coverage, but there are a lot of stitches sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, I like smalls. And then I, oh, I do the, I'm do i doing the Prairie Saint mm -hmm. School Santas. So those are always just a nice little stitch Filler. to fill in. Yeah. I have to start those. <laughs> <laughs> Ditch all the things. Yes. So with that... Um, I do. Oh, I, one thing I want to mention is if you've been stitching with us in February, post pictures of what you've done mm -hmm. under Finish It February S A L because we want to see what you've done. We'll post pictures on Instagram mm -hmm. and. Um, and and people have been putting things out oh, yeah. there and we have too. So, but. Um, you enablers, you. <laughs> It's been great. I love seeing what people are stitching. I know, I do too. sometimes it's like, oh, I've never seen that. <laughs> and and when they change things, mm -hmm. it's like, wow, that, that really changed the mm -hmm. piece. Yeah. So, I like that. Okay, with that being said, let's start with our FOs. Alrighty. So, wow. and we're going to go back and forth. And we kind of found out that we have almost the exact same amount of things that we finished. Oh. Okay. I kind of cleaned up in a hurry before Leanne came over, so I'm not sure where my chart is right now for this oh. little guy. He's hot off the press yesterday, but it, this is Lizzie Kate, the March Stamp, Stamp, I think they're called. Stamp it up. Or Stamp or it or something there. like yeah. that. But um, He's so cute. Yeah, I'm happy with him. He just is... Is a quick one, and at least my wording showed up well on the background color this time. So, we'll see, um, you gotta do a couple to get the hang of it and yeah. know what to do. Okay, your turn. So, then speaking of Prairie School Santas, I finished 1985, and I will be going on to another one. I'm not sure which one yet. Oh, he's cute. I plan on doing all of these. <laughs> Well, how many I've got is six, this six done. Okay. Six not fully finished. But six stitched. Now six how many? stitched. Uh, like 32. I figure I have to do three a month Ooh. until November. To have, you want to have them all done this, this year? Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
lofty goal, but... <laughs> well, uh, if anyone can do it, it could be you. I Yeah, well, now when it's winter time and mm-hmm. there's nothing to do, so... Okay. All right, speaking of winter time... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> New York Dreamer. This is the pillow Leanne did that I love so much. Um, and this is mine. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm so glad to have this done. And... I love that. We will be doing our tutorial so that mine looks like hers. <laughs> um, I'm going to go over, uh, well, I guess I shouldn't tell you because then it wouldn't qualify as an FO, but I am going to go over the white one more time just so it shows up a little better. I think that's a good idea. All right. Okay, and then I had one of the triplets, Harry by All Through the Night, Bonnie Sullivan. And I finished him up. I do like him with that rudder sweater. Oh, yeah. I, I wish I would have seen yours first. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I just made them the same color as all the other ones. Well, so. and... Because I wasn't sure what I'm going to do with them. Right. If I put them all together or... No matter what I do with them, they will always be displayed right. together. And I would have, I mean, well, I guess everybody doesn't dress in the same color, so I'll let it go. No, because yeah. mine is dumb. He's cute, yeah. <laughs> so, well, not quite, but. Um, then I have another New York Dreamer, and this one is Love. And I love, love this pattern. The I only love that one. thing different was I used a different pink. I used Strawberry Fields. Um, Perfect. Which has some variation, but not quite the highs and lows that the club for. But yeah, when went. you look at it, I mean, it's got variation. Oh, it does, yeah. But I think the variation is closer together than right. the other one. Yeah, maybe that's it. Um, it's a little bit so more subtle. So pretty. It looks just stunning on that black. Yeah. And, oh, my first time stitching on black. Ooh. People who do big, big projects on black. So what is what is the stitch count? Do you know? Do you have an idea mm. what the stitch count is? I don't know if it was twenty eight, eight or thirty two. One of those. It's probably twenty eight. I think. Yeah, twenty eight. But I don't know if I got the call for color. Oh. Um, but even with that, like, if I wouldn't have had a flashlight in my lap, it would have been really hard. Really. And that, then when you put a flashlight shining up, and then I could um, understand why your husbands complain about being blind. Because <laughs> there are a couple times where like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh. Right, right in the eyes. Um, but yeah, that, that helps immensely. See, and I, I did the Prairie Schooler. And what's that on? A linen or that was, Ada? I think it was Ada, but, and I think it was 18 count. Okay. So that would have been... Easier. So maybe you could see the holes better. Yeah, I don't remember thinking that it was a problem, but that was kind of when I first got back mm -hmm. into cross stitching. So maybe it was a problem and I just didn't know it. <laughs> you know, when you don't know any better. Correct. <laughs> so, okay, then I got this nest by Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread. And I got it finished. It's so pretty. So, I just love this piece. I think I'm going to frame it. Yeah. So. I would if I were you. Yeah. It's really pretty. I love that. All right. So, that's it for our FOs now. FFOs. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to lead off with February. Lucy Kate. Like Snap. And since it's the last day of February, it's still in my frame. I love that. I love that plaid. With that. I know, I, I just, love the plaid. And I can't wait to see so the different. little... I haven't even hung the other guy in front of it. I I think I stitched this on smaller count, though. So I, I might have to end up putting a border for February. So. Okay. And then I did, I don't have the pattern with me, I forgot it. But this is Joyful Journey, February, by Heart and Hand. And I just finished it in this little box. That with a little cute. ribbon. 
And I, this is the second <laughs> time I stitched this because the first one was on a darker fabric. And Are you going to make it I into like a pillow lighter. or something? I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Hmm. I haven't decided. Hmm. So... Surprise. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not going to worry about it yeah. now. Um, this was my first little pillow. This was a freebie um, chart. And it is Be My Valentine. So, I... That is so cute. I just love your fabric traces. Yeah, it's And the just, fact that you use two different fabrics. Yeah, it's just bright and cheery, and I like the buttons on yeah. there. And um, I thought it turned out really cute. I like that. Okay, and again, I don't have the pattern, but this is Joyful Journey March, and I kind of finished it the same way. Put in a little box, some ribbon. Yeah. Yeah, that so, really is a cute way to do it. And I, just, I love these little boxes. Yeah. I looked for them, and I didn't see them at Hobby, Hobby Lobby. Lobby in the floral department. Floral. In the floral, because it's for flowers or something. Oh, I would have never thought to look there. I yeah. looked like an unfinished wood, no. and I looked in, like, floral. they have that other section with all the tin stuff. Yep, no floral. Oh, well, yeah, it's, it's and they it. have a longer one, too, oh. so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Teresa Vignette from Kitten Stitcher had, she's got a couple patterns that fit inside there. Oh. And so that's where I got the idea. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Um, now we're on to another freebie. This is Be Mine, which I kind of did in this little tart pan. It's really cute. It's just, I, I love that background fabric. Oh, I do. Tulip too. Lover, so these kind of have to arrange a little bit, but I think, I'm glad to have that done. And I, I just, did you pick out everything before you stitched it? No. Like the no. flosses and, and no. the your finishing is perfect. It's like you picked it all out at no, one No, I um I found the fabric later and I you know, I knew I was doing more than one Valentine piece, so I thought, well, I'll just pick this up. And it's not really Valentine y, I could use it for spring no, too if yeah. it went to work. Absolutely. Um and then I found like I think it was at Hobby Lobby, they had the spool of all the thin satin ribbons all in a couple colors. So I was like, Oh, well this'll work. Oh, all in one pack. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. So and then I, I wasn't sure it seemed like a lot of space, so then I was looking for at like little buttons and then I came across the little satin roses and I'm, I'm sure like like the satin roses would be cute on there if I yeah it, it just really it around the bottom really turned out good so and at first I had some heart buttons and then I'm like eh it's getting too jazzy so I left those off no it looks really good okay it's like what was that who was that saying that when you put your jewelry on and then you step back oh and Coco take, Chanel yeah take one piece off but sometimes I don't. Oh, then that looks I great. finished Happy Jig Jig Day by the Trilogy. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with oh, it. Oh, I love this. But then I found this frame at the Hobby Lobby. Well, that's perfect for that. Yeah. And I I think I can take it off. I can't oh. remember. If <laughs> yeah. Are those little... No, I think I can take the... The, the backing, ba yeah, mm -hmm. the whole background. Yeah, that would be so, nice. Yeah, he's really that... cute. Are there other of these patterns for other holidays? I don't know. <laughs> Did the shamrocks <laughs> come with them? Yes. Oh, I don't. So cute? I, I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. So I just like the frame, and I just it's cute. thought it was kind of fun. yeah. He's perfect in there. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on my shelf. <laughs> bar that bar. I'm always trying. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh, I guess it's my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Um, this is Farm Fresh by Prairie Schooler. I love that. Is that what it's called, Farm Fresh? I think so. It's. I wonder if it was like an old pattern. It's in a like a four pack. Oh, chart, okay. But okay. I wonder if it was with something else originally. Um, and this too, I I slid in from the front. So and I just really lightly tacked it. So if I want to use this frame with something else everything's attached to the stitching I can just pop it out from behind and perfect use it with something else but 
He's no, just I this like happy and springy. No, I like the I like everything about it. And so and then I got um oops. A red cottage by Plum Street Samplers. And this one I had a hard time. It the red called for mulberry. And I the mulberry that I had was more brown, and I really wanted a red house. So I changed the red to Cupid, and then the white in the picture, I changed from shaker white to bamboo. So, well, it turned out really beautiful. It is. Ooh, and it has glass. It, well, the frame came with glass. So this frame, I went to Michael's. Now I have not been to Michael's probably in over a year. And I went there looking for a frame and I found this one. It was regularly $20. I got it for $9.99. And I looked at the clearance and there were three others. So I picked them all oh. up. And like I said, I'm a plain person yeah. in a plain frame. But I figure these are eight by eight. A lot of pieces are right. eight by eight and I wanna hang the three oh, together. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll so. be nice. Yeah. Let me, can I see it closer? Sure. Oh, that turned oh, out really pretty. Yeah, and let me show my little house. One over oh one my. on 32 count. 36 count. Is this the same fabric winter time was on? Um, I, don't, I don't remember what it was on. That's okay. Okay, see that little cottage? One over one on 36. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> That's a lot to fill in. The flower was way easier because you didn't have so many. <laughs> I haven't heard anyone. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. ay. <laughs> it's almost as good as my grandma was a you who were you. <laughs> I remember shopping as a kid with my mom and my grandma. And my, also you'd hear. My mom's name is Barbara. You'd hear, you who, Barbara. <laughs> and my mom would be like, oh, I don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, see in our family we go hooty hoot hooty hoot <laughs> hooty hoots no, we are you who's <laughs> you who's and hooty hoots <laughs> is you do you hoots is that like your Scandinavian or whatever isn't your dad Norwegian? well that's not really this oh, is more nothing. like Mike's side oh <laughs> <laughs> oh well never mind yeah <laughs> so hmm. no but okay alrighty Next. Next, we have Wonderland by Trilogy, which I made into my first flat fold. I think you did a fantastic job. Yeah, I have not I'm, done a flat fold yet. I kind of like doing them. We'll do them again. It looks good. The only thing is, like, then you have really have to have good cording to go around it. You know, like, have a good match. Oh, so. yeah. But, um... Yeah, I'm happy with no, that. No, that's perfect. This was one of my thrift store patterns, so. I like that. And, you know, when I started stitching it, I liked it, but I didn't, I wasn't like, oh, I love that. And the more I stitched it, the more I liked it. That and mitten. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the pattern on the mitten. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Yeah. Cute. Okay, so then I finished, let's see. Prairie Schoolers, Winter Wind, and a la Olivia yeah. from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. I found this tray and painted it red, and then I used brim wax over it, which I love. That's the first time I did that. And I just um, stuck this in with um, magnets. Okay a la Priscilla, mm -hmm. and I absolutely love, love, love it. So is brim wax so. colored? Or? This was a light brown, which was pretty dark brown, but it just dulled Tones it enough Where that you, it's perfect. I mean, I have like some of those chalk waxes. Is this, it the same sort of thing? I, it's a little different, mm. and I got it, I got it off Amazon. Oh, okay. So it's not like at Hobby Lobby, but yeah, I they oh, might have it. Cool. I don't know, but I love the fabric that I used. I can't yeah. remember. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, yeah really pretty. I think it turned out perfect. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Next. Then we're at Lizzie Kate Winter Four Seasons. I love this. This tree. This, this is clever. Yeah, I like this too. This is my trivet. And ended up with some snowflakes at the bottom. And I love the fact I'll be able to just pop this whole thing out and put my other three seasons in here when I do them. I love that. I mean, I love this drag fabric that you well, used on that. I, I like, you know, like even being able to put something up here, like, you know, I'm thinking, well, like forsythia or something like small flowers for spring. Oh, that would and be perfect. I don't know what summer would be, but fall, you could do a little leaf garland. So little daisies or yeah. something. So I'll have to see uh, what's in the summer motif. Yeah. But I really like that. I'm very happy with it. Okay. And oh I I should I wanted to use okay, this is the penultimate item. Oh <laughs> very nice. <laughs> She's catching on. <laughs> um it's out of the book In Friendship's Way. And it is button box. And I want to thank Joan, Mama Joan, from the Joan and Kelly show. She showed this, and I had to have it. It was something that I really needed. It's beautiful. So I finished that. The buttons are from buttons that I got from my grandma. And I tried using all the uh, show mm -hmm. buttons. So I did the box, painted it the color that that they suggested, and then used that Brin Wax, which made a yeah, huge difference. Down. Yeah. And then, so what's on the inside? <laughs> there we go. Inside, no stitching, but Ooh. just cover the top. Nice. Because this piece is black, is like plastic. Okay. In between. Okay. So you gotta gotta cover it. But yeah, I did the whole inside and everything. So I'm very proud oh, of this. Oh, so it was piece. unfinished wood. It's unfinished wood from Hot Hobby. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <gasps> screw fell out. She's a loose screw. <laughs> <laughs> I know many people that would not argue that one. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> I will have to look at that in further detail because I have not seen it yet. So I'm I'm very thrilled to check that out because I stitched that. Okay, now we have the jumbo size, which is why <laughs> I'm like, can we tape at my house? Because I don't want to carry it. My my I cabinet that um, I later found out is a toilet paper holder, and I didn't know when I bought it. You don't it. have to say that. Well, I know, but um. I don't think I perfect. can really get a close-up of the top, but well, maybe. But okay. I used um, like a gray polka dot. This is stitched on. Oh, it's a like almost a pale green. I just think it really turned out good. And really, that cabinet is perfect for yeah, it. Yeah, this cabinet. I, I made a mistake, and I stitched this on 28. So I like the margins. You know, I could have had a, more of the background fabric showing. So I have to remember for my spring one whenever I stitch it. You know, when I stitched mine, I didn't stitch it on the right count either. Or so, the call for. But this is, I have the little skate on top and a snowflake, a that is jingle perfect. bell. Like, I was trying to think of winter things that wouldn't be... Too Christmassy, so no, um, perfect. Some little snowballs, and then what I like about this is this whole piece removes, and then this in in the slot on top. There's a slot which I thought was a handle, <laughs> and I later someone told me it's for like a box of tissue and in the top shelf, but. I put all this stuff just on a sh uh, like a board, so I can just put that right into the very clever thing, and then it's back to being up there. So Perfect. that'll work well. You know, when you get more of those done, you could store your toppers inside I that was, box. I was thinking that because, like, even even um, the pieces, even you could the probably pieces. store them all in there. 
So I just if you had to cut out like part of that shelf. Yeah. Yep. So I'm perfect. Very happy that's done and happy that it turned out. Well, that's it for Hope you like our parade. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Lena, march. <laughs> Everybody loves a parade. I'm a spectator. Well, especially an F O F F O parade. Um and I just want to put in a plug. Next year you guys should join us because really It felt good. And it's twenty eight days is not it goes pretty fast. It it does go fast. If you can get by the first week of like, oh, I can't start this. Oh, you know, it just kind of simplifies your life. Well, and then you kind of revisit pieces that you started. Mm -hmm. Well, you started them because you liked them. Right. And you're like, oh, I'm almost done with this. I'm almost done with that. And I think three of the things that I had, maybe four, was my Stitch 9. Oh, yeah. So. I think I'm done with, well, you said you're done with six of them? Did I six? Is that what you told me? I know two of those that I have to start. Oh, so okay. may, maybe. Or seven? I know it was like, I, I was proud that I was done with four, almost six. And then, the one that I'm I think you told me you were. Maybe I do have six. So. Because I've got two that I got to start that I put in my stitch nine. Because and then the one I'm working on now. Stitch nine is just stitching completed, not like turned into something. I think right? stitching completed. And. When I did it, I, I mean, some of these people, like, put a lot of thought into mm -hmm. what they were doing. I just pulled out of my basket and go, <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five. Well, and I, I mean, I didn't do, like, I didn't put my stocking on there. No, that's a good one. Um, Just because, I don't know. I'm going to do that mania, though. I'm not going to, I'm going to do mania my way because Leanne tells me I can do things. I can do, what is it? You, you do, do you. you. Barb's going to barb up mania. I'm going to barb it up. <laughs> no, Barb's going to bore it up. <laughs> no. I am for, I decided what I'm going to do in case anyone cares is, um, I'm going to work on the stocking for 19 days for 2019. And then I can start some new things if I do that. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a really good idea. I think so. Because I think it'll, you know, now that I'm really stitching, you know, like as much as I can, um, I feel like I should be able to make at least a good progress on that. And I need to get it done. Well, and I think now that you're stitching more, mm -hmm. you're probably a faster stitcher than you were when you first started. Right. And I have I have the mag eyes and I have the ot light, which I didn't have before. I mean, I had a magnifier light, but that makes such a world of difference. It's all about the tools. It is all about the tools. Yeah. Your husband <laughs> will tell you that. It's about the tools. <laughs> he was uh, am amazed looking at uh, American Picker the other night, like that antique tools are like coveted. Oh, know? really? Yeah. Wow. Maybe we have some of those <laughs> in the basement. <laughs> uh, Sidetrack. Okay. So thank you for joining us and thank you to our new people. We're new subscribers, you... our regulars. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully we'll see spring soon. Mm -hmm. um, please like and subscribe. But, comment because we love the yeah, comments. Yeah, we love the comments. So we, we try to read them, both what, of us. We'll both read them. At least one of us will answer them. If you get a thank you and a smiley face, that's me. No. <laughs> Barb is more creative in her responses. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> I'm not. It's like it depends what time of day I'm reading the stuff. Oh, that's true, too. <laughs> so. But, um, no, we, we definitely appreciate all, all the comments, suggestions, you know, like, ideas people give us yeah I have some floss choices that I'm gonna try on one of my old whips yeah, and see, see if I can make it into a finish there you go so yeah yeah and we really have fun doing this <laughs> <laughs> oh so so hope you when, enjoy watching yeah me. and our next video uh, will be in it'll definitely be in March mm -hmm. since today is February 28th yeah so. um Hopefully, beginning-ish. Yeah. 
beginning-ish. Shouldn't be too long. Yeah, if you click on the bell when you subscribe, then you know when we come out with videos. We're very sporadic. We kind of try doing it every couple of weeks, but it doesn't always work out, and we never do it on the same day. No, we don't. So, um, I yeah. don't know. It's we just how we roll. Do it when we do it, yeah. <laughs> So. Leanne is gracious to bow to my schedule, which isn't always the easiest. But. Well, and yeah, that's because I don't do anything. So. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> no, it works out. Yeah. You know, we'll make it work. Yeah. So, right. okay. Well, that's you were, all. we're one of those people, like Teresa on her thing said, some people just don't know how to wrap it up and oh, yeah. quit. Yeah. So, that's us. we're having a hard time wrapping it up and quitting. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you liked our parade. <laughs> March, March. <laughs> Can't wait to see you for 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing it out of a swimming pool, a wading pool. <laughs> oh, okay, well. Bye-bye. Right. Happy March.